G'day guys, something new in the shed. EPEVER Solar Charge Controller PWM um, 30 amp 12 wall, 24 volt, 30 amp uh, Good, cheap, basic uh, Got it from Solar Tasmania today He sells heaps of these for simple basic setups Small setups uh, 30 amps, 12 volts isn't a huge uh, solar input But let's unbox it, have a look at what it does And uh, see what we got in the box so back with LCD that's kind of cool if you're in the shed when it's dark and you're trying to figure out why you get no voltage or whatever full power operation up to 55 Celsius so I'm gonna say it probably clips the uh, power and once it gets above that different battery types two USB ports in the front hmm. what more is there to say oh yeah PV reverse polarity protection battery over voltage protection battery over discharge Battery polarity protection, load short circuit protection, load overload protection, and overheating protection. So, a bit better than the little cheap blue ones that we're currently running. Uh, I don't know if I said it on video, but my little blue one that's running the light above us and runs on this little pack with the couple of uh, 260 watt panels, it I stuffed up and disconnected the load. Oh, no, I disconnected the batteries. When I disconnected the batteries, it smoked the USB because the voltage went through the roof. This is a inspection certificate. Instructions. Let's get her out of the box. So it is... Considering these little blue ones say they can handle 30 amps, they are nowhere near as serious in size as this. And this is a 30 amp unit. So... Um, best thing to do would probably be power it up with the battery, so I'll do that in a minute and we'll have a look. It's got lovely big terminals in here, quite a decent sized aluminium heatsink on the back, big mounting points. Like I said, two USB ports with up to 2.5 uh, amps out of the two of them. It actually has some model numbers and things like that on it, so it's a little bit more serious than the uh, $15 ones. I think they're about $15. You can actually plug in a temp sensor and that can go on your battery bank, but uh, otherwise it's just going to read the temperature on the uh, on the actual controller and then it might start clipping. So uh, I'll get some power to this and we'll have a look at what happens when we turn it on. Alright, so I changed my mind. I thought I would uh, power this up, but uh, what we're going to do instead is we are going to change the charge controller over now. So that's what we're currently running. We'll tidy that up a little bit. Um, but we'll change this over so that straight away tomorrow it's working. It's dark now. It's like 10 o'clock at night. So that means that uh, if we change it over now, perfect. It's uh, There's no PV input. Uh, I don't actually have an isolator later on my PV right now. That'll be something I'll have to do soon. I'll actually put a breaker in here. Bring the PV through there and then come to my charge controller. But for now... We're going to swap this charge controller out, kind of like for like, and uh, once I've changed that over, I will uh, come back. We can uh, run through the menus and have a play. All right then, we've got it on the wall. Um, this is all going to get changed shortly to run uh, through this board. I'm going to get the Victron inverter mounted up here and a proper output and proper input and solar isolators and fuses and stuff. Currently not running like that. It's just very basic. This is like typical old caravan setup at the moment. We're going to get rid of a lot of these old batteries here and all that kind of stuff. So we've got a bit of changing around to do. So don't look at this as the final install. It's not the final install. That's got a loop in it. So I used to be able to put the current clamp on there because those little cheapo these don't have any current sensing ability like they do when the smoke comes out that's too much anyhow so to turn on your load turn your load on and off you just simply press the set button now we've got our live power to our alligator leads here which are yeah like i say temporary runs the light bar above the bench so we can video anyway then you can just, it tells you how many amps the load is drawing, 6.3 amps. Tells you the total kilowatt hours that has come in, that's none at the moment. This is the setting mode which is full manual mode. 
it's battery type PV voltage, so we've got none, it's 10 o'clock at night, PV amperage, and kilowatt hours. So quite simple, uh, USB ports go whenever, and these are like 70 or 80 bucks. Um, pretty cool, holds 30 amps, like I said. Ability to switch somewhere near that. We've got 13.2 of the battery at the moment. And, uh, yeah, really cool to see the, how quick that monitors. But uh, we will have an update video on this when we got some kilowatts come through it. Really excited to see the total that it comes through it because uh, I do use a bit of power uh, on this off-grid setup. I've never even thought about having a power meter on the incoming solar. But that will be very cool. And um, we see how much free power we get. And then uh, we'll go to 18650s and uh, get as much free power out of the sun as we can. So that's really cool. I thought I'd show you guys. It is the EPEVR. So EPEVR, however you want to say it. Uh, VS30 24AU. So it can be 12 volts, 24 volts, up to 30 amps. So that's the way she works. That's the functions it's got. Thanks heaps for watching, guys. When you get it, you get some decent instructions. You can actually do what you want with it. I'm going to rewire this with some proper breakers. And uh, away we'll go. Because uh, that's from banggood.com. Died a tragic death, of course. What else would you expect? Um, which was my kilowatt hour meter, but now it's dead. So uh, we'll be able to monitor what we get from the sun. Thanks heaps for watching. If you want one of these, contact Solar Tasmania. I'll put a link in the video description. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video, guys. Cheers.